What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to force your Galaxy S5 to always connect to LTE. So there are times that your phone or your carrier might downgrade your connection to 3G or even lower. This usually happens when you've made a phone call or you've switched cell towers while traveling. But after that downgrade occurs, oftentimes you'll get stuck on that slower connection for a bit. This gets annoying after a while because once you get used to LTE speeds, everything else pales in comparison. And you may have tried to go into settings and select LTE only as your connection type, only to have found that option does not exist. But if you're rooted with the exposed framework installed on your Galaxy S5, you can easily add that option to this menu. Just head to the download section of your exposed installer app and search LTE only mode for S5. Tap the top result here, then when you swipe over to the versions tab, you'll notice that there's not anything here to download. That's because this module is in its early stages of development, but it works flawlessly nonetheless. So just swipe over one more time to hit up the Settings tab, then tap Versions to be shown. From here just select Experimental, then when you swipe back over to the Downloads tab, you'll see a few entries. Just tap the Download button on the most recent one here, and after a few seconds the installer should come right up. From here press Install. Then when that's finished, you'll get a notification from Expose telling you that the module isn't activated yet and that a reboot is needed. Just tap Activate and Reboot here, and Exposed will handle the rest. Okay, so now that we're back up, the module has worked its magic behind the scenes. In order to reap the benefits here, you'll just have to make a quick trip into Settings. From here, scroll down a bit and tap More Networks, then select Mobile Networks from the next screen. Next, tap Network Mode. This is that option that I showed you at the beginning of this video. As you can see, there's now an entry for an LTE-only connection. Just select that one and you shouldn't ever be bothered by slow 3G connectivity again. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.